Welcome, folks, to your weekly episode of The Beer Show. And we could actually say that this one is completely improvised. So I had a first beer, nice little beer that I had, and then say, sometimes I only have one, but sometimes I'm like, ah, oh, let's have another one. And I go in the fridge, and I usually look for something that I don't think is going to be like, ah, oh, crazy, so I'm not kind of wasting it for a review. And... I was getting this uh, best from the Belavin uh, Brewing Company, and uh, just to be sure exactly, the Belavin Brewery. So it is a brewery located in Dunbar, East Lothian in Scotland. And I bought that beer for $2.15 at the beer store in Ontario. It is served in a 440 uh, milliliter can with a 4.8% alcohol by volume. And like I said, I was like, ah, it's gonna be one of those generic beer, let's just take it. So I open it and it goes like really crazy. And I go, what the fuck? And I have that smell of sort of like um, sour. And I'm like, oh my God, what is this? So then I pour it. Oh, sad, it's not the same. Well, I guess everything went out. But it was this crazy, creamy, almost pretty sure this is nitrogen beer. So see, it was completely full of uh, foam, but then slightly it was getting back. It was so sexy. So I was like, okay, I gotta do a little review about this beer because it's just put me out of my ass, not only with the, the cream, but also with the smell and everything. So, best from the Belavin Brewing, it is a uh, product that's been on the market, it is uh, for not too long, sorry. Let's, let's finish the sentences first and then we can go to something else. Uh, a beer from Scotland, like I was saying, and it was, it is a English bitter and it is a beer that I'm pretty sure that has been brewed with nitrogen, which is a completely different kind of, uh, of carbonation put it on. There's small, small, small bubble. It's almost like a creamy. It withstands a lot, except unfortunately being open for, I think you have a one shot in those. It's a beautiful shot, but after that you don't, you're not able to, 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 to get a second shot out of it. It sucks that I can't show it to you because it was so sick. So that being said, guys, 4.8%. Already said that. It's a bitter beer. And we're going to go with that smell, which is nice roasted smell. Uh, I didn't even go. I, I'm, I'm so excited, guys. I'm, I'm blabbering everywhere. Usually, you pour... Talk about the carbonation. This is done. Talk about the color. So you have this nice caramel light uh, color to it. A little bit of reddish and orange in there. Now for the smell. Definitely sour. Definitely caramel. Definitely sweet. That's my kind of beer, you guys. What else am I getting in? little tiny bit of hops, but not that much. I'm checking. Yeah, it's malted barley, That of course. And they say they're using the draft flow system. So I think that's what happens when I open it, because it really was a strange noise. It was like a deep carbonation, uh, um, but it never overflowed. It kind of started from the bottom and was... For a couple of seconds, so I was like, what the hell is happening? And at the start, I thought the beer was kind of bad. Uh, I'd say maybe it was uh, oxidized or, or something. Uh, and no, that's how it is. And I'm surprised with that product, guys. So now I'm going to go for that taste. Which, by the way, I already had, of course. I'm pretty sure you got the hang of that. Oh, wow. It is indeed bitter. Um, it's 
not that sweet, but you do have a little bit of the caramel uh, smell. It, it, it kind of relates in the taste also, but not overdoing it, you know? It's rich, it's deep. The only thing it's, I think this you should really drink it because even the, the first drink that I had, the head was still there at the end. So five, ten minutes after I initially poured it in, it was still there. I'm just surprised that I'm, I'm trying to understand because I'm still seeing it in, in the bottle. I'd like to have, but mm, it's not happening. It's not happening. No, 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 I want it back. Give me the carbonation back, guys. I guess that would be one of the beers that you will actually have to open in front of the camera and pour it in so that you can really, really see it sucks. I'm sorry guys, but uh, believe me, it was worth the show at the start. So on that guys, excellent product. I'm gonna give it an 8.5 out of 10. The only turn off is that the carnation doesn't hold on. Uh, I don't understand why because it was holding on 20 minutes ago in the glass. Uh, so thank you for watching guys. Make sure to subscribe. You can always like the video. You can comment if you have questions or comments oh, in the section below. And uh, thank you for watching. Have a nice day.